Welcome back guys to my new sniping tutorial for Ace 3. Now for all of you who remember I made this tutorial a while back and I wasn't very happy with it. I just knew I was missing some stuff that is very important in order for the tutorial to be much more simple and effective for that matter. So today I am bringing you a revamp tutorial which will make your Ace 3 sniping both a lot easier and a lot more fun. So let's begin. As I'm not very fond of the standard Armor 3 sniper rifles or vanilla ones, I decided to use the M24 sniper weapon system for this tutorial, which is a part of the RHS United States Armed Forces mod pack, and to be able to properly use it with Ace 3, I am also using the Ace RHS compatibility add-on for weapons, which makes all of the RHS weapons to work properly with Ace. The download links are in the description. Here's what you need from the ACE 3 equipment. Vector 21, which is your rangefinder, Kestrel 4500, which is your weather tracker, and Natrag MX, a ballistic calculator which will help you before taking the shot, and a dagger. Defense Advanced GPS Receiver, which will be connected to your Vector 21, thus allowing you for a much faster acquisition of needed information. To assign all the controls for your before mentioned gadgets, you simply go to Options, Controls, Configure Add-ons, and select Ace 3 from your drop down menu. Go ahead and press your self interaction key and go to Equipment, Configure Dagger. Use the arrows to navigate to the Connect tab and connect your dagger to the Vector 21 Rangefinder. Press Shift plus K to be able to see the wind in your upper left corner. Now go back to your Vector 21, find the target, and hold your Tab and R keys together. Now you want to open your Kestrel, and if not already, set it to User Screen 1. Open your A-Track, and click on the Target tab. Here comes the interesting part. Because your Vector 21 is already connected to your Dagger, some of the information will be automatically synced to your ATRAG, so there's no need to input the distance and the azimuth of the target. So I'm going to input the wind speed, which is 3.1, and also the direction of the wind, which is 6 o'clock, and you know this by simply looking at the arrow in the upper left corner of your screen. Now open your Kestrel and set it to user screen 2, open your ATRAG, click on the atmosphere tab, and input the temperature, which is 23.4, in this case, the barometer pressure, and your relative humidity. And click Done. Click on the Update button. One more thing before we take the shot. You will have to be careful and choose the correct type of ammunition your gun is using, so simply click on your gun list and choose the correct ammo type. Let's now adjust our scope. Open your A-Track and set your elevation knob to 3.2. To adjust your elevation knob, press page up or page down, or if you simply want to do it faster, hold down your left shift and page up. For the first shot, however, there's no need to adjust our wind knob because the wind is blowing towards us, but don't worry, there's going to be more targets. That was easy, so let's find a new target. Again, using your Vector 21, simply update your A-Track and adjust the windage. Keep watching the green arrow as you're turning around because the wind is now blowing at a different direction. Now we have to adjust the wind knob as well. You can do this by holding down left control and page up or page down keys. Here we go. We're going to hold off on this shot and I'll show you why in a second. When you are taking the shot, keep holding your left mouse button so you're able to see where the bullet is actually going to land. Because if you just click it, your character is going to reload your weapon, thus making you to lose the sight of your target and your screen to shake while still scoped in. 
Before we move on to the final test, let's try and hit this balloon. Let's see the final test, but now we're going to use the bullet cam. And of course, the link is also in the description. Okay guys, that's all for this tutorial. I hope it's gonna help you and once you get the hang of it, switching targets becomes a piece of cake. Just remember to keep watching the wind speed and its direction and you'll have a lot of fun. Thank you very much for watching guys. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. Subscribe for more tutorials and I will see you soon in the next one.